<laughs> Stupefy. Oh, I forgot that would be it. I couldn't remember what the element on that was. Hopefully this kills it in one shot. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I think going down probably is what we want to do. Almost out of mana. Hope oh, was that like death over there? Oh, hey. It is. Halt, who are you to invade my realm to disturb the peace of the grave? I am Nathera, dragon mage extraordinaire. Or, well, I will be. And I need to speak to one of your subjects. The dead are beyond the concerns of the living. No one approaches them, save with my permission. I see. Well, hmm. He obviously expects me to challenge him, but I'm far too crafty for that. May I have your permission to pass and seek my great-great-great-grandmother? <laughs> Heroes don't usually ask permission. I've never had a chance to just say yes or no. It's always stand aside, death, or I will vanquish you, death. <laughs> oh, man. I love this game. <laughs> Heroes never stop to think that maybe I don't want to battle them. That maybe I do favors because death can be kind. <laughs> I almost died once. I don't remember you. All I remember is struggling to stay alive. Yes, child. If you ever have the opportunity to resist, do not go gentle into that good knife. Sir Vivall is a wonderful administrator of the underworld, but he's not very kind to the newly dead. But I digress. <laughs> but I digress. Why is it that you must venture into my realm? <laughs> Who do you see? <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> my ancestor. I need her. She's the only one who can teach me how to use my powers. Without her, I have no chance of reuniting the Creatio and the Draket. Yeah, whatever. You get the point. The Creatio have been so good to me, I would like to help them to say thank you. Aw oh, man, she's maturing. That's nice. Helping others is a noble cause. I commend you, I will grant you your request. I still can't get over the little, the little thing he had earlier there. Look inside yourself. Blood calls to blood. Blood is, and was, and ever will be. You are connected to your kin. I sense her and she will appear. Go now and find her. You will be welcome into my realm, young one. Is that her over there? Are you Asura? You feel familiar somehow? Well, this, she looks like you with longer hair and pointy ears. Oh, really longer hair? I thought that was like a sash or something for a second. Excuse me. That I am. It has been centuries since someone sought me out. You, purple hair. You're a descendant of mine. Which one are you now? I've had so many. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> I am I am Nathera. I will probably be the most famous of your descendants by the time I'm done. I like you. You remind me of me at your age. I sense void magic inside of you, but muted. They blocked you, didn't they? Yes, but I suppose it was necessary. Everyone seems to think so, anyway. Eludicus, he's a creatio dragon. Oh yes, I know of him. Quite the charmer, isn't he? I guess so, if you like smelly old 
Don't finish your thought, dear, keeping in mind, of course, that Elucas and I are old friends. Oh, man. Uh, there, never mind. Wait. The gamification being... I guess they might have hooked up, but never, like, you know, formally got together. Otherwise, that guy should have been able to teach her. Well, no. Um, I'm allowed to have my magic back, though, if you'll teach me how to use it, that is. Oh my, yes. We'd, be, we'd better teach you how to use it if we don't. You're apt to destroy yourself. May she never have to endure what I have. The void is a deadly place, and the element that infuses it is both addictive and powerful. Come here, dear. We will begin without delay. Mm, pretty intense looking stuff going on here. Well, that was certainly the way to do it. You've done well, yes, beyond my expectations. I believe you're ready to handle the raw stuff of the void. Your finesse will grow with your experience. I can teach you no more. You are ready to grasp as much of your power as you can hold on to, my dear. Awesome. Oops. Oop. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just get rid of the scepter there. Might as well hold on to that since it's a rogue weapon. Where are we at on time now? 30 minutes. Alright. I just wanted to make sure it's not okay. I'm st I am still in fact recording. I just wanted to make sure that for some reason I got real paranoid that I forgot to push record or something. <laughs> Alright, Rise of the Dragon Mage, the test. I feel amazing. I feel the power pulsing through me. I can take on anything. Alright. All right, guys, I uh, kind of had to skip <laughs> the quest as far as recording went because, well, first of all, it was nothing exciting. It was just the same forest creatures that we've been fighting as Nathera in most of these quests. You know, you had your boulder elemental and your claw kin and your bird. That's basically all we did, but it was super duper laggy for some reason. And I'm going to hope that it doesn't become super obnoxious while I'm advancing the dialogue here. And hopefully, it goes away for the next quest, because that's the last one. I kind of can't skip over that. I am myself again. I didn't know I had such a large part of me that was missing. But after talking to Azura, after her, some, after her lessons, I felt something snap into place. It was like having a broken bone set all of a sudden. A pain I never knew I felt was suddenly gone. I feel wonderful, like I could do anything. And I will. <laughs> slowly, child, slowly. You have only just regained all of your powers. You are still young and your power is new. You must have patience. But I want to use them now. The electricity coursing through my veins feels like grabbing a hold of purple lightning and drinking it up. That makes no sense, but that's how I feel. I am glad you are happy, dragon child. It has been long since such exuberance was witnessed in this glade. But I feel I am about to dampen your emotions. Before we can loose you on the world, before you can take on the decadre, you must prove to us that you can handle your powers with finesse and responsibility. Oh, is this like a mid-quest cutscene? Have I been tricked? We cannot have you running off to take on the powers of creation as a random example. I will never live that down. Yeah, it was a pretty silly thing to do. <laughs> I understand, Eludicus. Or Lucid, whatever. But how can I prove myself to you? I am me. I don't know how to be anyone else. A man or woman shows their true metal in battle. A real personality can become in being come to the front. 
and so we will test you in battle and see what we shall see. You will run a gauntlet of my best warriors and finally me. If you can defeat us with honor, then we will know that you are ready to take on anyone or thing that you might need to face. Use my new powers in battle. Let's go. All right, first heal. Second of all, run gauntlet. This is going to look messy, isn't it? Do I have to fight them all or do I just kind of have to get to the Lucidus over there? Yeah, this is not going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it recording, but I'm probably going to edit out the fights with maybe the exception of the Lucidus. Alright, guys, I, uh, I don't know. I skipped through all of those dragons because, honestly, it wasn't super interesting, and I had to, like, reset the game again because it got stuck. I bumped down the graphics, so I apologize for the um, image. <laughs> I apologize for the imagery looking a little uglier. And hopefully this next quest doesn't do this. It's, it was like specifically this one. You have done well, child. There is one more battle before you. I won't be too hard on you, young one. And I'll show you that I shouldn't be underestimated. So yeah, I'm going to leave it all blocky and stuff until I get to the next quest. And then I'll bump the um, visuals back up and hope that things work out. Alright, so he has the same resistances. Well, actually, he doesn't have quite the same resistances, but he has the same weaknesses. Like... I'm going to have to demonstrate my uh, those void moves in a manner that doesn't suck at some point. But like using them on him wouldn't really help. Uh, we're going to hit him with this though because... Why is this... It is super weird to me that he... His HP is only like the same as mine at start. Normally bosses- ah! Normally bosses um, start off with less- or er, with way more HP than you. Although if he's healing or some garbage like that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. healing annoys me. You know, actually, later in the game, it appears to be something that happens just on and off. Uh, bosses will just heal, like, on attack sometimes. Just inexplicably. And I'll, sometimes it could just be a little bit. Sometimes it could be a massive amount. It, it made certain boss fights real big chores sometimes, let me tell you. Like, I think the, the, um, the latest year's Mogaloween quest, I didn't even finish because of that mechanic. Um, It. Ow, ow. Um, you see, this isn't going to do a whole lot of damage because he's got like the resistance to it. But we'll test the waters anyway, if for no other reason. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? I stand corrected.
That move is pretty sweet. I like the spear that it summons. Ow. I'm going to siphon your essences. In a moment, though. Ow, ow. Alright, hit him with flame here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Give me that dot and I win. Ha ha. What the there? There. Screw you, man. I already beat you as a dragon. What more do you want? Why would you. Is resistance is the same? Yes. I don't know what kind of moves he's packing as a regular dude. So I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, let's siphon him. Because... I also like how that last fight was just barely not enough for me to, uh... He actually doesn't even have that much of a resistance to light. Let's see how this move fares. See, that wasn't even bad. I was I was expecting that to be significantly less of a uh, significantly less effective. Um, summoned this fiend again. <laughs> 50 Juan, nice. Ah, risk it for the biscuit. Let's hit him with this move. Bum, bum, bum. This move. Then if like fire cooled down. No, flame did not cool down. <clears throat> yeah, this one's got a dot, though. Oh, no! Risking it for the biscuit was a bad move. Ooh, God, okay. Um, yeah, you have a lot of hits there, so as long as that just does... Good. Yes, level up to... I thought it got stuck on the screen. I was about to be rather annoyed. Child, I have never been happier to lose a battle. Well done. I... Thank you. It feels right to use my magic. I feel whole. Yes, and I think you're ready to take on the Decadere. We must leave that up to you. We cannot fight them ourselves. If we turn on our brethren, misguided though as they are, there will never be a reconciliation. A dragon's pride would not allow it. So you see, you are our only hope. I understand. I think... Maybe a lot of my pride comes from my dragon half. <laughs> Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all, child. And I think it's time for you to go. You have shown that you can handle victory with grace. I think you have grown much since we first met. You are ready. Do what only you can do. Find the Decadere and convince them that they must return to us, that they must reunite for us for the good of our kind. We're ready. Tiny fireflies. 
Yeah, we'll pass on that one. All right, so here's to hoping that this next quest doesn't totally suck in the, uh, you see, like, my character is running across the screen just fine. 